Good morning. It is Friday, May 17th. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. We are looking forward to another family coming to pick up their pup. It will be Willow's Purple right over here. She's heading out to her new home today. Her family is driving here from a long ways away and they just texted me. They'll be here in about an hour. And these puppies gas tank is about an hour long. So we want them to play and play and play and get all tuckered out so that they can be um, tired, not wired for their journey home with their new family. And so we've had a busy week with meeting other families and getting them their pups. We have, obviously we have several more families to pick up their puppies in the next uh, about 10 days, I think. In the next 10 days, I think um, we'll complete the go home time with these pups. So it's crazy to think how fast they grow and it's crazy to think of how fast they go home. It's one of those things like when it's time to go home, then they all start trickling out. So um, one of the rewarding things about this process is meeting the families as they meet their puppy sometimes for the first time and uh, we can talk to them and go over any questions that they have and it reassures us that we've tried our best to make sure that these pups are going to good homes and will be forever loved in their new homes so these pups are enjoying a little bit of rain i don't know if you can hear that in the background there is a little bit of a sprinkle coming in, coming down and it's collecting on the leaves and drizzling on the metal roof of the pavilion here. So we're getting a little bit of rain on a tin roof here. Love that sound. These pups, they are, they're just doing great. We've had, we, have had several puppy appointments with the vet and we've got another puppy appointment on Monday for the sixth that will be going home next week. And so all the vet appointments have gone great. We're pleased with how everything's going and look at these pups go. <laughs> that was just about a collision with the guardrail right there on the interstate. Oh, she did hit that. So she's, She's like, ow, that hurt. So a little bit of a caught the rear right tire on the guardrail right there. So she'll walk that off in this light pink dot there. So these pup, this is full puppy power. Love to see this. They have done so well with acclimating um, to life here with us. You know, we expose them to lots of different um, social and you know life circumstances that we try to do to help prepare them for their homes and they've done so well you can see what a difference it has been from the first time these puppies were here and just apprehensive about the pavilion and the setting here to just full confidence level and their adventurousness and look how capable they are with the you know, the terrace, the rock terrace that's right here. They used to really struggle with some of that. They were a lot smaller then, figuring out four wheel drive. So we love to meet the families here at the pavilion. It's kind of one of those settings that just works out good for us. You know, it's nine o'clock on a Friday morning. Katie's at the house. You know, we're trying to keep up on homeschool with the kids and just kind of keep life and puppy times separate so that we just don't continually disrupt the regular flow of things. So unbeknownst to us when we kind of built this pavilion, how much it would work out for us to just be a gathering spot and such a fun place for the puppies, you know, with this little side play yard area for them and just a place where Regular life at the house can move forward and regular puppy life with the different schedules of the puppy families, we can accommodate them 
uh, better that way. So it's just all around a great scenario. So the pups are coming back in the pavilion to check in frequently. They come and visit me and then they uh, take off and head out again. We got a, what we call a naked pup. So Teal Dot right here, uh, she slipped her collar. I'm sure one of the other pups just probably tugged on it enough that it loosened and untied and so we got one naked pup that's teal dot we've got dark blue maples blue dot dark blue dot still here we have um, willows solid purple dark or excuse me solid dark pink man all these colors scramble me when I try to talk about them sometimes we got yellow dot right here we've got solid green over here we've got solid light pink little light pink so this is big light pink dot and then solid light pink over here and who else do we have visiting me so we've got willows or, or maples black dot here and who else has come in to visit that I haven't seen so Willow's solid purple, she's going home. So we got dark purple dot, naked puppy teal dot there. Up here we've got gray dot and solid gray out playing. Nope, just solid gray up here. So solid gray is over here. And who do we have over here? Solid green. So we've got green dot here and solid green a little higher up. And the one's heading out. We've got black dot, light pink dot. She's walked it off. She had the collision with the guardrail there. So she has walked that off. Um, so we've got um, solid yellow here doing a little puppy dance. I think she's dancing in the rain. She's feeling that um, rain come down. She's kind of like sticking her tongue out trying to catch it or something. So, solid gray. He's got a few rain dots on him. And we got purple and light pink having a wrestling match. We've got green dot, yellow dot, dark pink, solid dark pink got let's see that's dark blue dot and up on the hillside we've got light yellow solid yellow she looks like she's walking around to do a potty break look at that I called it you can watch them do their little potty dance they get their nose to the ground and they kind of get anxious they're, they get their nose to the ground and they kind of go back and forth and back and forth. And that's a sure sign of an imminent potty need in the works. So look at these guys all just playing in the rain, having a blast. So who do we have in here that has come for a visit? So we got little light pink, green dot, black dot. And they're playing tag with little light pink there. She is playing keep away with them. So, oh, we got an ear in the wrestling match on that one. So that's normal puppy conversation to yelp and say too much is too much. And then they end the fun. So as a human, if your puppy gnaws on you too much, uh, you can also do likewise. Oh, we got more potty breaks. We got Willow's purple doing a potty break. That's good because she's going to be on the trail soon. And we have Teal doing a potty break. Um, so that's my cue. That's enough potty breaks that I need to get caught up with that. So I'm just going to let the good times roll with the camera and get out there and clear up some potties so i got my little 
yard rake and scoop right here. The puppies have tipped it over. So, try to keep up on puppy problems with potty breaks out here. We don't need messes everywhere. These pups just think this is a toy. So this can be a challenge to have a race to get it down, get it scooped before it gets caught. And sometimes they do a decoy over on this side, get them away from the target poop and go for it. So if you're out cleaning up your yard and you're having a hard time distracting your puppy, do a decoy off to the side, I tap it, make it make a little sound, and do a little decoy, get them away from the poop, and then go in and scoop. So if you've never had to scoop poops and race a puppy to it, that's how we do it. Makes the cleanup process go a little bit more efficiently and we don't end up bumping the pups in the process. We don't want to whack them if we're trying to get to the poops before they step in it or something like that. So, and beauty of living in the forest is out in the woods it goes over there. So, I don't think I have come across any others at the moment. I'm just going to do another quick scan to see if I saw any. So those potty breaks were actually a little bit delayed from what our normal expectations are. We kind of expect pups to go potty pretty quick after they initiate um, kind of uh, super vigorous active play. They will usually want to go potty after they wake up from their nap, after they eat or drink. That's a pretty standard uh, potty break need time. And then after, I'm going to put these over here this time. They were, pups were knocking it down over into the rocks. So, um, so I just put the rake and the scoop over there. So the, we want the pups to go potty like that. So one of the things, one of the benefits of getting the pups up here and out of the house is this is just um, new and novel enough that they get really excited about it. Um, we've got some play areas at the house, but it's not new. It's just kind of boring for them. This isn't super new, but they haven't just um, worn out the novelty of this space. And so they get tuckered out really good. They get active enough that they, they don't just want to huddle around us because we're the most interesting thing. They get playing. We want them to get playing and have fun and get tuckered out. We want all that gas tank empty, empty, empty. Both the poop tank. <laughs> if you're, we've, we've got a RV camper that we pull behind the truck. So we want to get that poop tank empty on the puppies. Um, and so that they're not leaving here full, a fully loaded weapon in their cars. We want them pretty empty out the back side and pretty empty on their energy side so that they're just gonna be content for a several hour journey home, whichever direction they end up going. So anyways, back to camera stuff and puppy time. We've got, who do we have in here by me now? So black dot by me, solid dark pink right here by me um, black uh, salt or excuse me man I got my tongue-tied so we got 
Darth Blue Dot having a wrestling match with Teal there. And over here we've got solid dark pink and dark pink dot. And Mr. Green Dot here. So a little light pink. It's tasting my shoe. And they're all collecting in here for the moment. It's not that it's really raining more than it was. They're just doing their Vizsla thing. So normal Vizsla behaviors are to range out and then come back to home base and check back in. Range out, come back to home base, check back in. Some puppies stay out longer. Some puppies come back sooner. Some puppies range farther and some puppies range closer. So every puppy kind of has its own dynamic when it comes to that, but it's in their instinct not to get lost, not to get um, disconnected from their pack. So the check back in process is pretty standard across the board with all the pups. Something that we'll do with our pups when we keep a pup on occasion um, to encourage that pack um, mentality is to, we'll actually kind of play a game of hide and seek with the puppies. So we'll do things intentionally and kind of run away from them and make them think, oh, there goes my people. I better pay attention to that because I don't want them to leave me. It kind of encourages that hide and seek or walking just directly away from them kind of encourages that attention level to um, come back to you more frequently. You know, the, a puppy at this age is not going to keep full attention on you all the time. It's just not going to happen. Um, but the more attention that you can encourage them to give you, the better. So having them, oh, they're figuring out the ball chasing. That's dark pink dot. She's found the ball and has learned she carries it up the hill. She can drop it and have a game of chase with it. Watch her do that again. So, um, so back to, you know, encouraging them to come back and check back with you. We, ju we just do that game, games of hide and seek and just walking away or just running away, make them think uh, twice about just completely being um, indifferent towards you, you know. Not that we're trying to scare them or traumatize them or anything, but that's normally what happens in a wolf pack. You know, the, the, there's a leader of the pack and everybody just has to figure out who's leader and follow, follow the leader, pay attention to the leader. You know, a wolf doesn't um, call out to everybody all the time and say, hey, this way guys, no a little to the right guys, no a little to the left guys. They just go and it's up to the followers to pay attention and follow or else they lose out on the benefit of the pack. So that's just a little tip of the day for encouraging some time uh, and attention from your puppy down the road. Hopefully you found that helpful. And I'm trying to think of anything else that's crossing my mind with these guys. As they go, oh, she let go of the ball. She didn't follow it down the hill. Now she's wondering where it went, but yellow tracked it down. Look at dark pink. She let it go, lost attention on it. Now she's like, where did it go? And yellow found it. it so dark pink turned her head as she let it go. It rolled away from her and she lost it. Now yellow dot has won the prize. It's taking it up behind the tree. I would go out there, but it's raining enough that I'm afraid I'll get water all over the lens. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so yellow dropped it and is chasing it down the hill, and there it is. That was a fun little game for him. So, automatic, I guess you could call a hillside an automatic fetch program where they have to 
carry it and chase it themselves and carry it and chase it themselves if they want it to play. So. Well, I've talked and talked for 20 minutes and I've run out of a few things to say at the moment. So just enjoy a bit with the pups and I'll shut up. Hello, purple. You get to go home. Are you excited? Yeah. You don't even know it. We'll be sad to see you go. This is a happy, sad time. We're sad to see you go, but happy that you get to go to a great home. It's going to take great care of you. Hello, green. Hello. Hello, yellow. So we want to encourage them to be sitting when they get attention from us. I'm not going to pet them if they've got feet up on me. They are going to jump up on me to try to steal my attention, but that's not something that I'm going to reward. I will pet other puppies if their feet are down. Solid yellow, her color is kind of a light yellow compared to dot yellow. Dot yellow is a deeper yellow. There's naked teal, and they're playing help. Oh, gray is playing chase with them. This is pretty customary. One decides to run and the others get to chase and then they turn around and return the favor. So, typical playful socialization going along normal puppy development. Oh, <laughs> the obstacles couldn't get through. Oh, there goes the ball. Little Pink has figured out chasing the ball. Oh, she lost it. It went down in the rocks. And she got sidetracked with other puppies, distracting her vision from being able to track it all the way down the hill. So. Toy treasure to play a game of keep away with. So a little light pink is chasing solid dark pink. And we've got solid yellow joining in the keep away game over there. Oh, light pink came out on top. She got it. She tugged enough that dark pink gave it away and little pink won that match. Who do we have by me now? So we got dark pink by me and light, uh, solid yellow. Yellow dot coming in, light pink dot coming in, dark blue dot coming in, solid green, testing out some teething on the guardrail there. And we've got a toy that's lost down to the side.
Hello purple. Can you see yourself in the camera? Can you see your reflections? Huh? Yeah. Yes you can. Light pink dot just came through. Teal, naked teal came in. Dark blue dot. Purple's got the rope toy. Solid purple. Somebody's talking to me, so dark pink dot talking to me for a minute. Yellow dot and solid green are having wrestling match. And we got solid purple. Green dot just came in for a wrestling match with yellow. Now they're playing chase. Returning the favors back and forth, taking turns. That's a good sign. So we've got solid gray. He has, man, he has, he's been out pruning the landscaping. He's got a little sapling in his mouth. And we've got light pink dot there, chewing on a little stick. Some solid gray, he's out there just enjoying big open spaces. Ah, <sighs> so peaceful. There's not a sound besides a few birds and a few droplets of rain. Love it where we live. And we hear puppies. Love that too. Dark pink and solid yellow. So solid dark pink, solid yellow. They're having a wrestling match over here. Both taking turns, initiating and releasing. So. Oh, don't fall off. 
Hello, light pink dot. Hello. Hello. We're trying to get at the scoop in the rake through the fence. These guys, look, have been from 100 miles an hour. They are currently at 50 miles per hour. But they are starting to slow down. There's been several of the pups come in here and lay down. So they will get a second wind before they finish off the last quarter of their gas tank of energy. But you can see they're starting to pause. So we got laying down, we've got sitting down, we've got laying down. Over here we've got laying down. We have slowing down, slowing down. So there's definite energy shift happening. This one's still sitting down, hasn't moved. This one up in the corner, still sitting down. So this is the stage where I can feel confident that we're on the right track. This family has a long drive home and by the time they get here, they'll be here in about 20 minutes. Just texted me. We're about 20 minutes off of the interstate. And they just texted me and said they're almost, they, they just got off the interstate. So in the next 20 minutes, these pups will be slowing down. So I'm gonna pause the video here and resume it in a little bit. And do the outro of puppies that are more tuckered out than they are right now. This has been a fun 35 minute video to put together at this point to let you see them playing and having a blast.